The BD2 system is used in virtually every field of industry and in all types of buildings. The feeder unit is opened and the connection unit is mounted. To allow in-phase installation on the building site, it's already loosely placed in the feeder unit. The connection unit is now fitted to the feeder unit. After the feeder unit is closed, the plug-in terminal is prepared for installation by loosening the four screws and removing the flange cover. The plug-in terminal of the trunking unit is installed into the connection unit. The flange cover is closed by tightening the four screws. The maintenance-free electrical and mechanical connection is now established. For wall installation, spacers are snapped onto the fixing brackets to compensate for the difference in height between the feeder and the trunking unit. The fixing brackets are now secured to the wall. The bus bar installation can now be started. The trunking unit is inserted into the fixing brackets and secured. Apart from standard 90 degree junction units, the system also offers flexible junction units for ratings up to 800 ampere for any three dimensional design of the system. The terminal connection is established and the flange cover is closed. A standard junction unit is mounted to demonstrate the procedure. The 90 degree junction unit is prepared for installation. The flange cover is removed. A bus bar section is connected. The flange cover is closed again and secured with screws. While the second flange cover is removed on the floor, the installation technician opens the wall-mounted fixing bracket for the junction unit to facilitate installation. The bus bar section is inserted in the terminal. The flange cover is closed and secured with screws. The fixing bracket is closed. The bus bar run is now terminated with an end flange. The system components include a number of different tap-off units. To prepare the 125 ampere tap-off unit for installation, the locking screws are loosened. The locking mechanism cannot be opened.
The tap-off unit can be installed by simply mounting it to the tap-off point. The locking screws are used to mechanically secure it to the trunking unit. For the separate installation of data lines, an ancillary bus duct equipment is available. The following sequence shows the installation of a connector. A flexible junction unit that permits any change of direction is connected to the bus duct. The bus duct is installed with fixing brackets. They are attached directly to the bus bar trunking system. This method also permits easy upgrading of existing systems. A communications capable tap-off unit for status monitoring of the circuit breaker is mounted. The prepared tab in the bus duct is broken out and the communication bus connection is secured.